I think we knew it was time to stop when in one week we had two different officers serve us with court filings from magistrate court and we knew it was best to just take a moment and leave for a minute. We are a first generation family farm business. I wanted to be a part of it from the ground up, from the soil all the way to the finished product of the livestock that we sell. This sure isn't a get rich quick business. At 920, we are a complete farm to table operation. So we used to be in the fence business. Uh, we thought that that was money to be made. We thought that that was just an awesome business. And it was. There was times that it was really good. Times where we were really doing what we knew how to do. And then it got to the point to where folks wouldn't pay their bills, which made us not able to pay our bills. We continued to try to push forward and thought we knew what was right, and we did not have a clue. And quite frankly, could not, I could not um, wrap my mind around trying to do something different. I thought that I could work our way out of it. I thought I could fix it. It got to a point where while desperate for advice, a very wise friend shared, uh, you're, you're going to fail. It is within our nature to fail. The difference is for those that succeed, it's the, the difference is you need to learn to fail fast and move on. And I think for Jared, that was despite the attempts to get out, I think that advice coming from that particular person cemented the idea of, hey, get it's out. actually time to get out. We avoided it by a very small, small, small margin. When we found ourselves in a position to make a choice to avoid bankruptcy, we took it, we made that decision. And I, for us, that decision is rooted in our belief in always doing what is right. And it has taken us two and a half years but we have paid off with a very small amount left that will be paid before the end of this year. Yep. We have paid off almost $400,000 worth in debt. And so the only way to get out of that is to be non-complacent, is to aspire for something greater than your current situation. And for us, that took a lot of time, a lot of grace given to us by outsiders, but also given to us as as individuals, but then also to each other to overcome and and to identify the faults and the mistakes and sure. own them. Uh, that probably took the longest for us. We are very prideful people, um, mm -hmm. despite what pride can do to you um, and so it takes time it takes time to move out of a sense of complacency and it takes time I think to live out the understanding that God created us for greatness and greatness doesn't look like sitting in a hole failing to do the right thing we're not saying that it's easy because it there's there's been nothing easy about the past two years of our lives but at the same time once you can accept that you are the only way that it can change that's the answer to your new beginnings that's the answer to 
being able to make that change. I think a new beginning is taking something and applying a new level of learning to it. It doesn't mean you have to start from scratch. It doesn't mean you have to build something tremendous or incredible. It just means making incremental changes for the better and new beginnings and new outcomes will come from that. Hustle and hustle hard. And when it's time to go, you go. When it's time to do it, you do it. When the haze, when the sun's shining, you bail hay. Like, you know, you, you go with it. It's sad uh, and it is a harsh reality when you understand that although people have genuinely good hope for you, um, <laughs> family, your family wants the best and you're, you hopefully have great friends that want the best for you. And when it comes down to it, they, they are still there. They are still a significant part of that process, but um, that is wavering or that can be wavering and it can certainly feel wavering. And so you may, you know, for us, we experienced family leaving the business. Um, we've experienced great friends leaving the business. We've experienced friendships be suffered and be hurt by the situation that we had found ourselves in. And um, sometimes those, oftentimes those people were people that we felt like if anybody had our backs, it's them. And what felt like them leaving was hurtful. You found out also the ones that were there to ride with you. The ones that were there no matter what. And the ones that were there to be there no matter what. I think if you have faith and if you believe in God, God is light and light is everywhere. Yep. It might be shadowed, it might be muted, it might be hard to find, but there is light in every hole. And one day, you'll find yourself on a phone with a friend who will pray over you and who will shine that light when you couldn't see it. During this whole time of being in a deep, deep hole. <clears throat> you do feel like everybody abandoned you. You do feel like everybody has ran from you. The people that do run, give them grace. Mm. Yeah. Give them the benefit of the doubt by giving them grace. That doesn't mean they have to eat at your dinner table. That doesn't mean that, that you know, you have to invite them over for, uh, for family game night. But give them grace. It took me a long time to be able to do that. I could, I could very easily see that there would be a, a good, healthy, promising future. I just didn't know how we were gonna get there. I remember a lot telling Becca that there were tough days, but I was a firm believer like my whole life I've been taught. Yes, you work hard and you'll get there, but that wasn't the case. We'd worked hard and we were where we're at. But I think that's also where it ties back into the faith of it. You learn your lessons, you fail fast, and you start going. You can't give up. It's it's going to be tough and it's going to be hard and you're going to want to quit and you're going to want to give up or skip ahead or step aside or take a shortcut 
or go backwards. But there's so much more to life and there's so much beauty and grace and love and wonderful things to come if you can hold on and if you can believe. Yeah.